Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you how you can create a quiz in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to show you two different ways to create a quiz. One of them is with an education account where we'll create a quiz without even needing to leave Microsoft Teams. If you don't have an education account, I'll show you how you can still create a quiz using Microsoft Forms and then you can bring that into Microsoft Teams. If there's one part of this video that you're more interested in, feel free to use the timestamps down below. All right, let's jump on the PC and let's start creating a quiz. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. And first I wanna show you how you can set up a quiz using an education account. To be able to follow this approach, you need to make sure that your team is a class type. If it's not a class type, you could jump ahead in the video and see the second approach to creating a quiz. I'm now in Microsoft Teams and I have a class team set up for the Kevin Cookie Company new employee onboarding. That's the company I work for and all new employees who join have to answer a quiz before they could start working. To create a quiz, click into the general channel and then you'll see all these different tabs across the top. To create a quiz, let's click into the one called Assignments. Once the Assignments view opens up, let's go down to the bottom and click on Create. This opens up a menu and let's click on quiz. This opens up a prompt where we can either create a new quiz or we could select from an existing quiz that we've created before. I don't yet have my quiz, so I'm going to click on new quiz. Since I selected new quiz, this opens up a browser window with Microsoft Forms where I can create a quiz. Microsoft Forms offers the ability to create surveys and quizzes and it's super feature rich. We're gonna go through and create a quick sample quiz. If I already had an existing quiz, I could have just selected that directly in Microsoft Teams and I wouldn't even have to leave the experience. To start building our quiz, first let's click on Untitled Quiz and let's give it a name. Once I type in my name, let's give it a description. Now that I've typed in both the title and the description, I wanna start adding some questions. Let's click on Add New. Once I click on Add New, I could select from many different question types. If I click on the drop down over on the right hand side, I have additional question types that I can insert. I'm going to keep my quiz pretty simple today, so I'll insert a choice question. Down below, type in a question and a few different options. I inserted my first question, what's your favorite cookie company? Considering that this is a Kevin Cookie Company new employee onboarding quiz, I would hope that every single new employee would be able to answer this softball question. I put down the Kevin Cookie Company as one of the options along with a few of our competitors. When I hover over the various options in this list, I have a few controls over on the right hand side. If I click on the check mark, I could indicate that this is the correct answer. If I go down below the other options, I could select multiple right answers. However, we all know there's only one right answer for this question. When I hover over again, right in the middle, this icon allows me to provide a message to respondents. Let's add it for Miss Fields. Here, if someone selects this, they'll see this response. If someone selects this option, it'll be an incorrect response, and then they'll see the text that says, have you ever tried one of these cookies? I mean, seriously. When I scroll down the page, I can indicate how many points this question is worth. I'm only going to have two different questions in my quiz and this will be half the points, I'll assign 50 points. Over on the right, I could select to allow multiple answers. There's only one right answer here, so I won't toggle this on. To the right of that, I can also make it required and this will be required. Over on the right hand side, there's an ellipses and when I click on that, I have a few different interesting options. One that I wanna to touch on is shuffle options. When I select this, it'll change the order of the different questions here on the screen if I don't want the Kevin Cookie Company always showing up at the top. The order might bias the result, so it might be a good idea to shuffle things up. Now that I finished entering my first question, let's click on add new and add another question. For this question, I wanna make it a text question, so I'll select text. Here, I'll enter in my question. For this question, I'm going to ask, why do you wanna work at the Kevin Cookie Company? Now, of course, there's no correct answer, but I'll take the liberty to assign points based on what I think of their response. This too will also be a required question, and I have the option to make it a long answer. Now, I'm expecting people to write their life story to tell me why they've always wanted to work at the Kevin Cookie Company, so I'll enable long answer. I'm now all done with my quiz, and I can now bring this to Microsoft Teams. 
I'm now back in Microsoft Teams and I want to bring my quiz and assign it to my class. Here once again let's click on the assignments tab and then go to the bottom and click on create. This opens up a submenu, let's click on create quiz. Once again, this opens up the dialog where I could either create a new quiz, which we just did, or I could select from an existing quiz. I'm going to select the quiz that I just created and then click on next. This opens up a screen where I can select a new assignment. I could give the assignment a title. It also has the quiz attached to this assignment. It shows the total points. I could also indicate which students I want to assign this to. I'm going to assign it to all of my students. Down below, I can also set a due date and a due time on the quiz if I want to limit how much time people have, and I could also indicate what channel I want to assign this quiz to. I'm going to leave all the defaults for now and then assign it out to my class by clicking on assign in the top right hand corner. I can now see that there is a new assignment for all of my students and none of my students have yet taken the quiz. I'm now logged in as Adele in Microsoft Teams and she's one of our new employees and she needs to take the quiz. Here within the general channel, she can see a post for the new assignment or the new quiz. Let's see what it looks like from her perspective. When she clicks on the assignment, she'll see some details of the assignment along with a link to the quiz. Let's click on this to see how it works. This opens up the quiz directly in Microsoft Teams and here we can see what it looks like from Adele's perspective. Now, what's your favorite cookie company. Oh, this is an easy one. It's the Kevin Cookie Company. So we'll select that option. And then there's the question, why do you want to work at the Kevin Cookie Company? I'll let Adele write in her response. That looks pretty good. And next, let's click on submit. As soon as Adele submits, she gets a message thanking her for her submission and then she could view the results. Right off, she could see that she responded to the first question correctly and because the second question is open-ended, as the instructor, I now need to go in and I need to grade the response. Back within the instructor's view, I want to show you how you can review the results of a quiz and then also grade the open-ended questions. Back here, let's click on the Assignments tab on the top. Within the Assignments view, once again, I could see that I have one outstanding quiz. Over on the right-hand side, I could see that out of my two students, one of them has already turned it in. Let's see what their responses look like and click into this. Here I could see that out of my two students, Adele has completed it and Emily hasn't yet turned it in. With Adele's, I could see that she got 50 points, meaning that she got the first question right. I need to now manually review the second question, so let's click into this option. Here now, I can go through student by student and I can see their responses to all of the questions. With the first question, I can see that Adele answered this correctly. I indicated what the correct answer was, so this was auto-graded. If I click on this little feedback icon, I can enter feedback for the response. Down below, I can see Adele's response to the second question, and this is exactly the type of employee we're looking for. This looks great. I'm going to give this 50 points as well. Here, I'll click here to give some feedback. I've now typed in my response and I think Adele will be a fantastic fit at our company. I've now finished grading the quiz and I can click on close on the top. When I go back to the assignments view, here now I see that Adele got 100 points because I manually graded her second response. Next, I want to show you how you could create a quiz even if you don't have an education account. It requires a few more steps and it's not quite as integrated, but it works just as easily. To create a quiz, first, open up your web browser and head to the website office.com and log in with your credentials. Next, we're going to navigate to Microsoft Forms. If you've ever used it before, you'll see it over on the left-hand side. If you haven't used it before, you can click on this icon in the bottom left-hand corner to open up all of your apps. This opens up the All Apps view. Let's click on Forms. This opens up the Microsoft Forms Start page, and right at the top, we have the option to create a new quiz. Now I've already created a quiz, so I'll simply click back into the quiz that I already created. This opens up my quiz, and if you're interested in how to set up a quiz or how to indicate what the right response to a question is, go back to the beginning of this video. This quiz looks good to me, and I'd now like to share this in Microsoft Teams. Up in the top right hand corner, I can click on this button that says share. When I click on share, I can copy the URL to this quiz. Let's click on copy. 
I'm now back in Microsoft Teams and I'm in the general channel. I can now click on new conversation and I could say, everyone, please take this quiz. Now that I've posted this message, anyone who's part of this channel can now go in and click in to respond to my quiz. To review responses to my quiz, simply head back to the Microsoft Forms start page. Under recent, I see my quiz right here. Let's click into that. Here I could see all the questions to my quiz and over on the right hand side, under the responses tab, I can see all of the responses to my quiz. I see so far that one person has responded and I can review all of the answers. Here I see that Adele has taken the quiz and the first question has been auto graded since I indicated that this was the correct answer. For the second response, it's an open ended response so I need to review this and then assign points. This response is okay, it's kind of generic so I'll give it 40 points. Once I'm all done, I'll click on back. Once I'm done reviewing all of the different responses, I can post the scores. Next, I could choose who I wanna post the scores for. I could go through each individual or I could simply select all. Once I'm all done, I'll click on post scores. This now returns the scores to all of the individuals who took my quiz. This is one other way that you can have everyone who's part of a channel take a quiz. It's not quite as integrated as it is with an education account, but it still works fairly well. All right, well, that was a quick look at how you could create a quiz in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed this video and you now know how to create your very own quiz, please give this video a thumbs up. To see future videos, hit that subscribe button. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.